Hello and welcome to this brief demonstration video about the new user features and enhancements. For the next few minutes, I'll be taking you on a brief tour through the host of new features and enhancements that we know will make a significant impact. To begin, starting with the main page of the web suite, a few features have been relocated for easier identification and use. The first of those are the educator resources. Previously located on the right-hand side vertical, these have now been relocated to the top horizontal. The Educator Resources tab still includes quick links to the free live webinars, quick app tutorials, and the curricular content standards guides. Next is the search bar. The search bar has been moved to the top right corner of the black ribbon. This can be accessed through a mouse click, which will open in a new window or through a keyboard shortcut with the forward slash key on your keyboard. To return to the main page of the web suite at any time, simply click on the center icon at the top of the page, or use the house icon in the top left of the black ribbon within any app. Next, the filter by category feature remains the same. It has just been moved to the top right of the app page. For the features and enhancements within an app, for example, I'm in the special test app, the educator resources menu can be shown or hidden or toggled on or off by clicking the motorboard hat icon. You'll see you continue to have copy page title with link, copy thumbnail image if that's applicable, and copy page URL. Just a reminder that students will need to log in to their personal account to view any of the links created here. The next icon is the share tools icon, and that can be turned on or off or shown, toggled on or off by clicking on the icon. And that opens a drop down menu for you to create an email using the default email application on your computer or to copy a URL which you could email in another way. Please note, again, links created here will allow anyone to view the page without signing into the web suite, but they will expire after seven days. The next within app feature and enhancement is the bookmark tool. This is identified by clicking on the bookmark icon. And again, that can be shown or hidden, toggled on or off. Specifically looking at the exercise patterns app, there is also an exercise program tool, which is shown with the clipboard and piece of paper icon. If you click on that icon, it will open up a menu with your exercise programs or save programs. So within this app, you can add exercises to an exercise program, create a program, naming at a certain uh, area and region for the patient, and then again, send that uh, via email or a URL. So that is a new icon that is unique to the Exercise Patterns app. In addition to the relocation and identification of educator resources tools, we have also embedded a new medical dictionary across all apps. So for example, I'm in the uh, Special Test app and looking at the Thomas Test as an example. If I scroll down, uh, any word that is has a definition available will be highlighted in green font with a dotted line also in green underneath. Clicking on that word will open a new window with a definition of the word. Currently, we offer English and Spanish definitions, but more languages are available and are coming on the way. You can also change the settings of the medical dictionary by clicking on the gear icon to only see English or Spanish or to move which language is shown first. The final user interface feature that I'd like to show you today is the video preview feature in the Musculoskeletal Decision Tree app. You'll notice that when there is a video available of a skill, that word will also be highlighted in green with a dotted line, will open up in a new window, and you can see the video for that associated skill. And that concludes our brief demonstration video. We hope you enjoy the new user features and enhancements.